so uh, there was a there was a, a writing group happening at my place. We tried a few things, and we just decided. I, I know just to do something different. I sat down at the piano and started banging out some things that were just coming to me then. So that's how that one started. Sort of a piano riff. So then Trent brought it to the group, and then. Uh, Steph and I were just flicking through some hymn books and we landed on this hymn. I don't even know what the actual hymn is called or what number it is, um, but we, we just took little chunks out of it that we thought um, seemed to fit with the, the imagery of, of how it sounded and built a melody based around those lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually um, a, a hymn excerpt that was in a devotional that I've been reading through over the last few years called um, uh, Streams in the Desert. Um, and yeah, it was just something that I'd read years ago and I thought, sometimes I feel like a bird in a winter storm. The hymn is really about um, this, something beautiful that God created um, that is in the, in the midst of kind of all the chaos of life um, and clinging on to God and clinging on to hope during the times of chaos. And I trust you now. Reading through these hymn books, we were coming across beautifully crafted um, sentiments, I guess, things that we felt that we haven't been able to put into words ourselves. and. Um, it's encouraging actually that that these have been feelings and thoughts that have been um, in the Christian experience for years and years and years and um, yeah as Garrett you know we don't want those words to get lost we want those words to be sung and experienced by our generation as well yeah, and the role of the music is to um, help communicate the ideas that are in the, in the lyric and to help make it impact you on an emotional level a lot of the Bible is, is uses poetic techniques and is is communicated in songs or, or psalms and poetry. So, yeah, God's chosen to reveal Himself through uh, words of poetry. So that'll it's good enough for me. <laughs> like we were flicking through the hymn book, and I came across this hymn um, that was just talking about the fact that. Um, yeah, we can be tired and um, sometimes at the end of what we think we can cope with or bear and um, he's the water for our thirst and he's the nest um, for the sparrows who can't, you know, who can't fly anymore and beautiful words and um, I just said to the band, um, I just, we, I want to make music that sounds like you're falling into a feather bed. Um, <laughs> which of course sounds ridiculous, but um, yeah, then the boys managed to do exactly that and it was beautiful. So um, yeah, I really feel like that song, um, the music was completely inspired by the lyric, um, which is, yeah, really cool. Well, this song, just it started off with just a groove. We're just, uh, sitting at Lana's place, around the fireplace. There was some nice tea and stuff. I think it was raining or something outside. It was a really nice mood. And so just started with a rhythm on a box and Steph just started jamming over the top of it. And the song came out. It was quite cool to behold. Often we're concentrating on making things really meaningful and really uh, well-crafted and that. And, and this song is just a, like sometimes, Communicating an encouraging message can be done in a really fun way that makes you want to dance a little bit, <laughs> hopefully. That's what we want from this song, we want people to dance.